Yo, what is up? So, I thought I'd do a video on Battlefield 6 and we're looking at DualSS 4 and uh, FSR 4. So, what I'll say is uh, both look really good, but there is a slight difference with uh, stability in the image. So, we're looking at this metal fence here and uh, it's just more stable on DualSS 4, although it isn't a massive difference, but it's just a bit cleaner. And I've got to say, that's the biggest thing I've noticed. I think uh, it's extremely close. I mean, I'm really unable to tell a difference in terms of image quality between FSR 4.0.2 and DualSS 4, uh, 310.4. So this is the campaign, and I'll do, do a bit of online for both, using the 97 XT and the 4090, which I'm showing it. So I've done it on overkill settings for both using the quality mode for uh, DLSS4 and FSR4. So, yeah, I've done uh, pretty much the same thing on both, and I've obviously had a good look, and uh, it's just the stability on buildings, this fence here. So it's just a bit more unstable if you're looking at the image, the metal fence. Uh, but in terms of in terms of everything else, I'm pretty much unable to tell a difference. I mean, the detail is very sharp on both FSR 4 and DualSS 4, but it's not overly sharp. So I think they've got that just about right. Um, DICE, they, they obviously make the Battlefield games. And I've got to say, in terms of smoothness and all that, they've done a better job than EA Sports have, that's for sure, because I'm running it over 120 FPS, and it feels great. I haven't had an issue with it. Whereas on FIFA it just feels a bit dodgy. Definitely less responsive. Uh, I don't know why they need to fix it. Um, but, I mean, yeah, Overkill looks good. There's a lot of quality in the image. I think it looks better than the Call of Duty games, actually, when I'm, if I'm talking about graphics. I'm re really quite impressed with it, with how it looks. And uh, yeah, so with the upscalers, it looks really good on both. Um, obviously, you get more performance once you use uh, quality mode balance and uh, performance. But I'll just, I'll just test it out the quality mode because uh, it's optimised pretty well. And as long as I'm getting over 100 FPS, I'm pretty happy because I do like graphics as well. So I thought I'd just go with the overkill settings. Um, the VRAM actually looks pretty good. I think uh, possibly it goes up the longer you play it with the allocation because I did notice a bit of a difference. Uh, but I don't know if there's some sort of memory leak, but it seems all right anyway for 16 gigabytes. So we're zooming in here. This is the other thing I said. So in the multiplayer, it's just a bit less uh, stable when you're looking at the rooftops. And uh, so that's a... Uh, FSR 4 and this is the OSS 4 and it's just a bit cleaner and then be I mean it's a it's a very small difference so for me it's it's a slight it's a slight edge to the OSS 4 but then it's looking great you know I, I think it would I would have to say it looks practically the same uh, apart from that little bit of a uh, instability at times when you're looking at some buildings uh, that's the only difference in terms of detail and everything else, it looks great on the DLSS 4 and the FSR 4. So that's extremely close. So yeah, I mean, image quality wise, that is uh, pretty much the biggest differences I can see. Uh, I mean, I, I was playing this online, so I'm not really playing properly. I'm trying to just look about actually for the video, just uh, to see if they're I mean, the other thing actually was the window shutters. So if you look at the buildings, uh, there's just a bit more uh, instability there on the FSR 4. I imagine at 4K resolution, that might even clear up. Uh, but yeah, again, it's a, it's a very small difference. And I could pretty much play it on AMD or uh, NVIDIA at this point. I mean, the good thing as well, I mean, I was watching uh, that video from Fabio. It was a really interesting video, Ancient Gameplays. 
so he done a video with one of the um the uh directors i think and uh he was basically saying that their main focus is a uh, fsr 4 like making that image quality better like all the time so with all future updates i should imagine the stability should improve because that i'd say that is the main thing they should think about focusing on i think which they probably know anyway um so i just wanted to explore as much as i could just to see literally any differences in image quality but yeah so fsr redstone is the main focus along with machine learning like upscaling and stuff like that so it's gonna get better and better so i wouldn't be too worried about any weaknesses against still successful if you're a md user because i'm pretty sure it's just going to improve uh with each update every two to three months like i said in my previous videos uh you can have like fsr 4.0.3 uh 4.0.4 and so on so but yeah i mean already it's, it's looking great uh the vegetation looks good and uh again it's just uh when i'm looking at the windows from a distance like the told rooftops and buildings stuff like that that's probably the only difference i'm seeing from what i've seen um when i'm comparing it to dlss4 where it's just dlss4 just handles it slightly better with the just just the stability i don't know what it is it's some sort of uh so it's just like it's like the aliasing is just a bit off at times but then it's not happening on every building so i'm not sure why that is but it's obviously a difference so i'm having to pick it up but everything else just i would say it's a tie everywhere else when you're looking at detail of the characters all the soldiers and all that the guns look great uh as i said it's uh, i've got double team there <laughs> but yeah everything looks great uh Again, I think it's better than when I'm comparing it to the Call of Duty graphics. I do think it's a lot better in terms of detail. It looks sharper. So, yeah, I'm actually quite liking the game. I wasn't going to pick up this early, but then I kind of got FOMO for it. And then uh, here we are. So, I'm glad I picked it up. So, this is on DLSS 4. I mean, I've got to admit, I haven't bothered with uh, Battlefield since... Uh, bad company too so uh, that is a battlefield i really liked and uh i did get annoyed that because me and my brother liked it but i did get annoyed that ea stopped supporting it so now the you can get the you can get into the servers but no one's playing it so that was a shame but the well i've played this one so far it kind of reminds me of the old style of it so i do usually like to go recon build up the skill uh, the experience points and i usually like getting the most powerful sniper i can get but early on i think you're just better off using your assault rifle maybe to rank up but i haven't played too much of it but uh, i just always liked how you can like the destruction of the buildings on here with the frostbite engine and you can just climb up onto the buildings get your sniper out shoot them off and uh i mean the maps are more interactive compared to call of duty maps and they're bigger a lot of them are bigger or you get, you do get smaller maps so i think that's what's appealed to me with a uh, battlefield in the past i mean there was a jungle level on by company too and i really like that one so yeah it's i mean i like i like massive maps really yeah so my overall conclusion is i'd say it looks great on both uh it's just a little bit less stability on fsr4 although it only happens in certain places on the buildings at times and it's whereas on dlss4 it's just a bit a little bit more stable but it's only a small difference so that's it for me thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one